It's the time of year when many kids head off to summer camp, ready to make memories that can last a lifetime. And for the kids at Hands Together Heart to Art Camp, it's all about the memories. Last summer, we took an intimate look at this very unusual summer camp. Days filled with music, dance, and art make for happy campers. But each child is hiding their heartache. Each of these children has lost a parent. The Auditorium Theater's Brett Batterson launched Hands Together, Heart to Art, for kids aged 7 to 14, a place where kids can be kids while learning how to express their deep feelings. I lost my father when I was seven years old, unexpectedly to a heart attack. It was probably the single most defining moment of my life. I realized that it was my involvement in the theater that truly um, helped me to become more self-confident. And so I thought there must be a role the arts can play in the healing process. The camp offers a place for kids to talk about their loss without feeling different. I came here because um, my dad died when I was three or four. He had a car accident and he had a brain tumor. Throughout the two-week camp, the kids work with members of the Joffrey Ballet, Child's Play Theater Company, and Roosevelt's College of Performing Arts. The objective of the camp here is to bring these children together that have the common experience of, of the loss and using performing arts, creative expression, um, providing a way for them to express their grief about the loss. Expressing their feelings can be tough, so counselors guide the kids with words, too. When there was any kind of an emotional um, outpouring from a child, we would generally take the child outside of the room and do some one-on-one -on -one with them, try to understand what's going on, what may have triggered it, how they're feeling. Even if these kids feel different from their other friends, they're not alone. More than two million kids in the United States, 3% in all, lose a parent before they turn 18. Any child who's had a significant loss and not given the time and place to talk about are at high risk for drug addiction, alcohol, declining grades, not being able to connect and have attachment with adults or peers or love relationships as they grow up, they're all at risk. According to some studies, after losing a parent, as many as 85% of kids exhibit symptoms such as difficulty sleeping, worry, depression, and regressive behaviors. Some have experienced prolonged illness uh, and, and experienced the long, drawn-out process of death. Uh, others uh, are too young to remember the death. They were very young when it happened. Like she, she was in the hospital, and then, and then we went to check on her, and then the doctor said that she, that she died. How did that make you feel? Sad. Some kids lost a parent through violence. I lost my father 2005, July 11th, in a in triple murder. My mom, she really was torn because her and my dad were like best friends. Me too. I miss him, but it's cool. Most of us, we really don't like to talk about it. We like to have fun, goof around, play, dance, and everything because it's really hurtful sometimes to think about it again. So we just like, what's the past is the past. Let's think about the present. Here, the kids give themselves permission to have a good time. When my dad first died, I didn't like, I don't want to do anything to stay in my room. I, my mom was like, why are you so depressed? That's why you're so depressed. Just get out the room. I was like, okay. So I got up, came to the camp first day, I had a great time. The final performance in Gans Hall showcases their work in music, dance, and original performance pieces. The theater is based somewhat on kids writing. The kids are encouraged to write and then those writings are oftentimes adapted into the theater piece for the final performance. Heaven, I am in heaven. I am with my dad. I am playing games. I feel like everything is perfect. 
I see myself playing with my dad in heaven. I feel peace. It's obvious when, when a, a spouse dies that the remaining spouse is bereaved and is suffering and struggling in so much pain. So they're not giving the kids what they need. They can't. It isn't that they don't want to. They can't. That's why it's important that we surround the kids with other caregivers and trusted adults to walk them through it. Teddy is 11 years old. Uh, he lost his father, my husband, eight months ago. He came home one day and he had to write things that he remembered or liked or what his dad liked or didn't like. And we talked about that and laughed about that. So it seems to be making him remember but not be really sad and to be able to express it and talk about it. What's most important is honoring the memories the kids brought to the camp. Now, how many of you here have had a mommy die? Raise your hand. And how many have had a daddy die? Like most of us, when anyone has died, we want to go back. If we could just have three more minutes to talk to them. So we're going to ask the kids to close their eyes, think of the person that has died. Think about what they look like. Think about what color hair they had. Think about what it was like if they cuddled you. And if there's something that they want to say to them, to write it on this little piece of paper. And no one is ever, ever going to see what you're doing. It's just between you and your parent. Now, you're probably wondering how we're going to get that message to the mom or dad, because they're not with us anymore. Look at these colors, kids. I'm going to pick a blue one. Wait, a pink one. Why is that? Why a pink one? Big, no, a red one. Oh. <laughs> why, why a red one? Because that was my mom's favorite color. Are you, you going to write a note to her? Mm-hmm. What do you think you'll say? I love you. All right, and then we're going to count down in three, two, one, and then let it go. Okay, okay. not yet. Not yet. <laughs> These kids truly are pouring out their last wishes. My wish for them is to understand that even though they've, they've suffered a terrible loss that many of their classmates have not experienced, that the world's still a beautiful place. The 2007 edition of Hands Together Heart to Art Camp starts next Monday. This year there will be two sessions. Both sessions are full right now, but organizers have a waiting list. For more information, you can visit our website.